Hey guys, in this video, I'll talk about theory of bioethics. So in this video, I'll discuss about the four main theories of bioethics. So let's get started. So the first theory that you can see on your screen is the deontological approach, which was given by Kant and Rogers. Rose. So it was categorized by applying usually strict moral rules or norms to concrete cases. Also, some of the uh, examples to this particular approach is the religious approaches and the non-religious deontological approaches. Also, human value and dignity have given superior priority in this particular approach. And some of the examples are euthanasia and abortions are crime according to religious approach. So we have already we already know about abortion and some of you might have heard about euthanasia as well. So these are not uh, legal as well in some countries and ethically if you think or from an ethical point of view these are not these are these are considered generally unethical. Also another example is telling harsh reality or truth about patient's medical condition or before human research in order to avoid abuse. So yeah, this is another point that has come up recently of telling something or tell, telling, a rea uh, telling a really deep thing or something that may hurt someone's other, the other person's feeling. So without actual re research going on that particular disease or particular ailment that's happening. So this is something this is said to be unethical according to this particular deontological approach so moving with that so coming to the second approach of bioethics which is the utilitarianism so which is one of the most prominent and influential ways of ethical reasoning and decision making so moral quality or rightness and wrongness is just by is judged by consequence and utility and consequence of a given action are evaluated with reference to a particular value so less pain or more happiness or pleasure and maximum the utility of all sentiment beings so you can see example given here so the this is a trolley problem so basically this particular theory of bioethics of utilitarianism so which explains that as far as a person is utilized or a person is using a certain method for its utility it's completely fine and it's legal as well as it's ethical and in the other way if we are using or a person is using a medium or any scaffold technique for its benefit or for his own benefit but at the same time it's hurting someone or it can be a person it can be any animal it can be in a plant it can be a medium or it can be an organization so in that way this particular theory of bioethics comes into play where uh, this particular theory of utilitarianism comes into play that this particular act where people are harmed whether it be an organization whether it be other people whether it be an animal so this particular theory of ethics would be unethical in that case so moving with that so is it ethical again the point comes here so in a very broader manner so consider a trolley is going down its path and it will run over five people so that is the option of diverting the trolley into other track in which one person is tied and the decision now has to be made by the bystander whether to divert and kill one or let it run and kill five so what will it do so the question here is very simple so this is a trolley and this is the guy who is controlling the trolley so you can see in one of the parts there are five people tied and in other part there is one people there is a single person tied so consider a trolley that is going on its part and it is about to run over five people tied to the track so the trolley is about to go underneath a bridge on that bridge there uh, there is a fat man and if that fat man is pushed over the bridge his weight will stop the oncoming trolley and he will die but the five men tied to the track will be saved should the fat man be pushed so here comes another situation that uh, 
there's a fat man you can see here so you can if you push that fat man over the running trolley that fat man will die but but these particular five people will be saved so killing or letting die collateral damage in military war in covid 19 vaccination so these are some of the problems that are discussed or can be discussed in a better example so this is a very general example for trolley problem so how these persons can be saved or how less damage can be made so how to avoid damage all right so if there's a fat person in between so if the fat man is pushed over the bridge so if he is pushed over the bridge his weight will stop the oncoming trolley and he will die but the five these particular people who are tied will be saved so this is another perception of looking this whether it's ethical or unethical it's up to you you can write down your comments or your thoughts in the comment section below so moving with that so coming to the third principle which is the four principle approach or the principalism so one of the most important approach in bioethics or medical ethics so one is the patient autonomy which is the freedom of choice next is the non maleficence which is do not cause harm next is the beneficence which is do good and next is justice which is fairness and equality and principles can overlap as well as compete with each other for priority so this is a very simple thing again so there are four different principles and approaches for principalism principalism which is patient autonomy non maleficence which is beneficence and justice so four different principles under this principalism so which is obviously done for the betterment of humans moving with that so come to the last theory of bioethics which is the uh, virtue ethics in this video which i'll be discussing so one should act in accordance with what the virtuous agent should have chosen so an action is morally right if it is done by adhering to the ethical virtues in order to promote human flourishing and well-being so the action is morally good if the person in question acts on the basis of the right motive as well as his or her action is based on form or good character or dispo uh, disposition so right action and right motive plays both play an important role so this is a very common example you might be very much familiar with this so right action and right motive both play important roles so motive and your mindset plays a very important role in every situation of your life so some of the examples given here is so virtuous physician in medical ethics so virtu uh, virtuous physicians in medical ethics should not only be well trained and conscious professionals one who shows compassion towards his or her patients is helpful and honest and keeps his or her promises but also should be strongly inclined to promote the patient's well-being so this is another uh, very important example very general example that is that comes under virtue ethics which is the right action right motive and the mindset should be right while treating a patient patient in a clinic so let us keep this video till here i'll be coming with more of the theories of bioethics that comes under in the coming videos so hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching